today I'm going to be doing, well, I'm going to work on dunks and show you how to easily complete them. So, I'm going to get warmed up and hope it works. And hope I can get most of these down. Alright, so first tip, if you're trying to learn how to, like, do your first dunk, like, like a self alley oop, make sure when, when you self alley oop, you want to, like, throw it as you're getting down to jump up. You don't want to go, and then start jumping, because that's going to be harder than you're already in the air. So you want to go, you want to have the ball, and you, when you want, you want to go, and be ready since you're hotter in the air, it's easy to dunk it. That's how you do a self value. So now, if you're trying to learn the behind the back, what you want to work on is just start jumping like that and having your hands touching the rim. You don't want to just go and just start doing that. You want to work on touch rim. But you want to jump. You don't want to go. It's a when you jump so you can get ready to just go and dunk it like this but you gotta make okay so a tip for between the legs when you jump you want to jump kind of early off one foot if you jump off two feet it's going to be harder because you have to move this leg bring it and bring this arm over so you want to go jump like that because your momentum is going to be here, you're just gonna plant that foot, and your leg is just gonna automatically swing out. Just move between the legs and then dunk it. So it's a lot easier to go instead of going. All right, we we'll do this. Like, watch. See how complicated that was? Now, watch this. It was a lot smoother and cleaner. You know, all right, so now if you wanna do a self alley oop, self out you between the legs your one goal is to throw it before you jump so you can catch it because most people make a mistake when they do that they throw it like when they're starting to jump then you're going to catch it late and have to, to go and reach as high as you can so you want to go between the legs it's hard i know Like that, but it wasn't that smooth because I rushed. You want to be smooth. It's like, so you need to work on throwing it against the wall, catch between the legs. So then you can get that motion down, like, and just be ready. Then you can hit it, like, then you'll be able to hit it consistently. But it's hard. I can hardly get it. So your second dunk will be a 360. What you're gonna work on is just jump in place and do a spin. Then your next thing you're gonna work on is jump, reach your arm out. Cause you can't just go. You have to reach your arm out. Then you can just go. It's a lot easier. Your third and final hardest dunk will be between the legs, 360. The one hard part about this is spinning. Between the legs is the easy part. It's just spinning that's the hard part. So the goal is to just jump up and just spin as much as you can. So like, and get as much spin as you can. You don't want to get halfway and have to go and reach your arm out. And if you make it, it's a 180, not a 360. So you want to be like that. So it's easier. So. So. 
that's what it's gonna be a lot easier if you just go and try it out. Alright, so those are tips for dogs. And that's how you do them easier. So remember, throw before you jump and you wanna and be ready for the ball to come in hot. Alright, that's it. Comment your favorite dunk and subscribe for more tips.